Welcome back everyone to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the 10th air law lesson. We're talking about operations near an aerodrome. And uh, I'll admit air law is pretty dry, but this is probably one of these lessons that you wanna pay pretty close attention to because it's not always all common sense and you are responsible to know how to fly your aircraft around an aerodrome. You can't just go in and land wherever you want, whenever you want. So we're gonna start with general mandatory frequency reporting requirements. And we'll talk about this a bit later in a bit more detail. The MF is mandatory frequency. So you know from an earlier lesson, you must talk to somebody. It might, might be a control tower or you just have to notify all traffic of your uh, position. So in general, some things you need to worry about. You can't create a risk of collision. The aerodrome has to be suitable. You have to conform to the traffic pattern. You have to do left-hand circuits unless otherwise specified. You might have to be on the radio and you have to take off in the wind. Lastly, you don't overfly an aerodrome at less than 2000 feet AGL unless you're planning to land. Uncontrolled airports within an MF area, you have to maintain a listening watch on the radio. This is in contrast to an aerodrome traffic frequency where you're not required to make radio calls. It's still highly suggested, but it's not required by law. When you're at an MF airport, you have to broadcast your intentions prior to entering the maneuvering area. We remember from an earlier lesson, maneuvering area is a taxiway or a runway. So let's just say we're at, a maneuver, at an MF that has no control tower. We want to make a radio call. Let's just say we say Bancroft traffic. This is Cessna 172, Golf Alpha Bravo Charlie, entering the active runway 27, departure northbound. So we've broadcast our intentions. On departure, we have to report that we're taking position and we have to report once we're clear of the circuit. On arrival, you are required to report entering the MF area, joining the circuit on downwind, on final, and clear of the runway. So that's quite a bit. So pretty much whenever you're doing anything other than turning on base, you have to make a radio call. If you're flying continuous circuits, you have to make a report on downwind, final, and clear of the runway. If you're flying through an MF area, you have no intention of landing, but you want to fly through the area, you have to report prior to entering the MF area and once clear of the MF area. Let's review. In an MF, a mandatory frequency, you have to have a radio, you have to make radio calls, but you can't create a risk of collision. The aerodrome has to be suitable. You have to conform to the traffic pattern. Left-hand circuits, unless otherwise specified. Maintain a listening watch, take off and land in the wind, and don't overfly the airport or the aerodrome at less than 2,000 feet AGL unless you're planning to take off or land. Talking more about the radio, you have to maintain a listening watch, make radio calls to the specified ground station, or just make a general broadcast if there is no ground station. Broadcast intentions prior to maneuvering, entering maneuvering area, and report departure intentions prior to taking position. On arrival, you're going to call prior to entering the MF area, joining the circuit, downwind, final, clear of runway. When you're flying continuous circuits, you're going to call on downwind, final, and clear of runway. And you have to report prior to entering the MF area and once clear of the MF area. Okay, now for a few sample test questions. Specific frequency, distance, and altitude which, within which MF procedures are to be followed are given in the Canada Flight Supplement. Uh, you can look at this with your instructor. There's some samples online, but you can see each it works kind of similar to a phone book from years gone by. Uh, you just look up, it's in alphabetical order. You look up the airport, and then in there it will tell you about frequencies and specific circuit procedures. Pilots broadcasting on an MF where no ground station is in operation to so direct their transmission to the Aerodrome Unicom, so that would be ground station, so we talked about no ground station. Closest ATC unit? No, because there's no ground station. Aerodrome traffic? That is the correct answer, or first aircraft heard on the frequency? No, because you might not hear anybody. You still need to make a radio call. That concludes the 10th lesson of air law, operations near aerodrome. Thanks for joining uh, me today, and uh, we'll see you on our next lesson.